have to excuse all of this that's going on right now. I am in the middle of a massive batch cook for the dog's food. I'm, even my glasses are steaming up. I just wanted to explain a little bit that um, one of my New Year's goals was to start feeding the dogs better food. Just tinned food and dry food that's not agreeing with them. They're farting. <laughs> they are farting something rotten at the minute. Um, we've tried all different kinds, we've just we've tried just meat, we've tried just plain, we've tried a mixture of the two um, and all different brands and stuff and just nothing just seems to suit them both so at the end of last year, 2018, I started to cook them a bit more um, fresh human food that definitely was so much better for them. We could see them start to put on a bit more weight as well because Diego, even though he's a lab, he looks so... You could see ribs and we've had him at the vet and they said that he was a good healthy weight. They said it won't harm him to put on a few pounds but not to overfeed him and stuff but to us he just looks so under underweight and people comment in the, if we have him out a walk and they're like, oh he's quite skinny for a lab and we're like, it just makes you really paranoid even though the vet said he's, he's, he has a healthy weight. Anyway, so one of my New Year's goals was to start just feeding them, constantly feed them a healthy food. So if you saw my shopping haul that was uploaded on Wednesday, you'll have noticed that I got them like six bags of chicken pieces, frozen fish and tinned sardines and tinned tuna and although tinned foods aren't the best for them either the tuna and the sardines it's still oily fish so it's still going to be really good for them good for their skins and good for their coat um, I keep looking over there by the way because there's just so much going on um, so today I'm doing a big massive batch cook to save me doing it every day cooking for them every day so I'm literally cooking all six massive bags of chicken pieces and um, I've got pasta, whole wheat pasta and brown rice and all that for them. So we'll just take you over and show you what's going on. So you'll have to excuse the mess guys and the light. And like I said, um, there's a lot going on. So here I've got the first batch of chicken pieces that I cooked. They're all cooled now. And this is just, I'm just going to start cook, uh, cutting them up. These I've just taken out the oven so they're cooling. And I've still got one and a half bags to do. This is fish and milk that I'm doing for their dinner tonight. Um, milk isn't good for dogs because some dogs, well quite a lot of dogs are lactose intolerant so they have to get milk in small quantities and our dogs don't get it very often so this will be like a once a month type thing. Um, I've done some sweet potato for them tonight. I read up online and it said that sweet potato was so much better for them than regular potato although they can have both some more pasta draining in the sink so for storing all this cooked food in the freezer and that i got some of these bags and i've i just opened these ones first the medium ones and they're actually quite a good size i mean i've already put some things in there and it's not even half full so i got the extra large ones for diego just in case i needed them but they're actually going to be absolutely massive so i'm not going to open them until i have to so i've got some things already in the bags that have been cooked and cooled. Um, Diego, we give Diego double the amount that we give Rosie. I don't know if you'll be able to tell that from the bag. So this is Diego's row and this is Rosie's row. Rosie is a collie but she's a small dog and Diego's obviously a lab so he's a big dog. He needs double the amount of food for her, from her. But at the minute I've got some bags with pasta in it. I don't know if you can see that very well. And then I've got some bags with rice in it and I've added some carrots to the bags as well because carrots are good for dogs, they're good for their teeth apparently and I'm going to give them some raw ones just to chew on like rawhide because that's really good for their teeth. And Rosie for some reason in particular has awful stinking breath. I don't know what it, I don't even know how to explain it but yeah we're going to give them some raw carrots to chew on and hopefully that'll combat that um, bad breath. Problem. Anyway, I'm just going to start chopping up the chicken and getting it all portioned up and then put more in because I've still got one and a half bags to do.
So that's one batch finished. I've still got two lots of chicken to um, rip off the bone. Yes, I did use my hands, but it was so much easier than using the knife. And I actually don't mind touching chicken. I'm used to it. Um, so that's all the bags done now. In this batch anyway, there's some with rice, carrots and chicken. And some with pasta, carrots and chicken. Some with just <coughs> chicken and pasta as well. I don't think there's any of the rice ones that are plain with chicken. Um, and I've also wrote the dog's names on the front of each bag. I mean, Ray Diego gets double the amount of Rosie, as you can see. But sometimes with freezer stuff, you might just not be able to tell. And this is the first time I'm doing it. So I just want to make it clear whose is whose. Guys, I just wanted to show you this. This is all the juices that have came off the chicken that I've cooked. Well, the first lot anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it all to cool. I'll add the second lot and the third lot's juices in as well. And I'll skim all the fat off and make the dogs up some gravy and put that in some little tubs to freeze and add to their Sunday dinner, like I said. And this is their dinner for tonight. This is um, fish and milk, just regular white fish and milk um, with sweet potato and some crispy chicken skin. That's all just cooling down and Ali will give them that later. And we'll get their verdict. <laughs> Did you like your fish and milk? Is it good? <laughs>